Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Winter Orlando Informer Meetup here at Universal Studios Orlando. This is one of my favorite events because all of the food and beverage offerings are included in your admission price. So you can drink as many butter beers and eat as many pretzels as you like. And then there's also almost no waits for any attraction. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Orlando Informer kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this and I'm very excited because I'm bringing my mom and sister they are here yeah, we're going go. to the Orlando Informer meetup first time being at Universal Studios for my mom first time. I am so excited to show you maybe we might get to see the Grinch and I like I said all the food we can enjoy it's gonna be a fun time Oh yeah. I am so excited that I'm able to bring my mom to Universal Studios for the first time. I always wanted to come here growing up, but we couldn't afford it. And now I get the opportunity to actually bring my mom to enjoy it for the first time. And I love that. And the Orlando Informer Meetup is the perfect setting because I don't know how many rides she can ride. I mean, we're going to see what she can ride, but she gets to enjoy all of the benefits and activities of the meetup. And it's kind of worth it. Like I said, it's the best deal out there we are all checked in and tonight's event goes from 7 p.m. till 12 30 but with your ticket you get into the park as early as five o'clock and honestly I always tell people this is the best bang for your buck if you ever plan on visiting Universal Studios Orlando because you really get the most out of it and it pays for itself I did a little bit of the math for you guys, and if you registered for the Orlando Informer Meetup for two nights, it would cost you just around $350. And if I bought just two tickets to Universal Studios Orlando and added the Express Pass to it, it would cost me almost $700. And that is such a huge difference. And plus, you're getting free food and beverages included in that. So it's definitely worth it if you plan on making a vacation down here. The Orlando Informer Meetup is multiple times a year, so it has different seasons. And I love coming to the winter one because you get all of the Universal's holiday like festivities. You get to see the holiday parade featuring Macy's, and then also you get to meet the Grinch. And I think the next one is scheduled February 3rd and 4th, and tickets are still available. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. I think we're gonna start the day by heading in to Universal Studios Florida side because my mom wants to catch yeah. the Macy's parade. So I'm hoping that we are gonna be able to. It starts at five o'clock, but the parade starts at 5.30. So I think we have enough time to find a good spot. I'm on a red carpet. First time on a red carpet here, Mom. Red Fancy. Carpet. They're rolling out the red carpet. I red carpet that. treatment. <laughs> I'm also excited to have my mom try all the like foods from Harry Potter and Butterbeer for the first time and see what she thinks, you know what I mean? I'm very excited, like I love doing things, I love doing first time things with people. I like being like a little tour guide. Look at this mom, we got a perfect spot for you. I know. Right? Be able to see everything. The parade's gonna come down here and then it's gonna go down this way. And then, like I said, I think we're going to try to back out and make our way over to Islands of Adventure. So we're honestly in the best spot. Like I said, I enjoy coming to the winter meetup because you get to do all of the holiday festivities. And since it's my mom's first time coming, I want to try to show her everything. So we're going to catch the Macy's Parade and then we're going to try to leave and then head over to Islands so we can get the Grinchmas show before the event actually starts. chilly and windy out so good luck to the balloon holders there because they're probably holding on for dear life. What did the minions scare you ma? <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to 
The parade was a lot of fun. I think my mom really enjoyed it. I caught her waving and saying Merry Christmas a couple of times. Now we're gonna make our way over to Islands of Adventure, try to catch Grinchmas. Now I'm not putting a lot of this stuff in because the event hasn't even begun yet. Like that's, you know what I mean? These are the things I just wanted to show my mom, but we're gonna get into like the food and the rides uh, probably as soon as we get done with the Grinchmas because by that time I think it should start. Now the adventure begins. Off to Grinchmas. 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 And how did you like the parade? Did you like the parade? I loved the parade. Yeah. And it was so different because I've never seen those floats before. Y'all, you know, the Macy's, yeah, the floats are fun. It's incredible how they handled that. It was so nice. I know it's very windy out. It's yeah. cold. We might need to get sweaters. Yes. <laughs> And we have made it over to Grinchmas. They say to be uh, at the show at least a half an hour early. So we're about 45 minutes early. And I was thinking about maybe trying to ride the cat in the hat. You want to ride the cat in the hat, Ma? Good. I think that's a good idea. All right, let's do the cat in the hat. We didn't make it to Cat in the Hat in time because we had to pull inside and get some sweaters. A bunch of Pennsylvania folk here saying it's cold in Florida. How cold was it when you guys left this morning? 21. 21 degrees and they're cold. They're cold now. I feel the same way. I say it all the time. But I think we can say we are ready for Grinchmas. Look at this. And now you got a little Grinch guy too. Right on my shoulder. Yeah. Merry Grinchmas! <laughs> it goes, there's a magnet and it sticks under your shirt. We'll have to put it on and show you. <laughs> and now he just stays there. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's go watch the show. Okay. I've been trying to think of rides I think my mom could ride. And I think Cat in the Hat would be one. E.T. maybe. What did we say, Jimmy Fallon and Despicable Me? So a couple of them, and I can't wait for the event to start so we can do that, eat some food, and try butterbeer. All right, Mom, time to hear the how the Grinch stole Christmas. <laughs> Merry Grinchmas. Merry Grinchmas. We got the perfect seat because we are front and center for Max and the Grinch. They both come out right there. But I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful show. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Did someone call me? Maybe I don't know who will. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. What how? I know just what to do. Come on, Max! Hey, you laughed in a stroke. <laughs> and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great greasy trick. With his coat and his hat, I look just like St. Nick. <gasps> Speaking of rhymes, blast! <laughs>
What did you think of the show, Ma? I loved it. Was it? It's so good. It is. It's honestly just such a well, like, put together production. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. Give her some open room and she'll leave us behind. Look at her. <laughs> oh no! Holy moly! Look at her go! Yeah. <laughs> That is such an incredible show. I loved it so much and I'm so happy I got to share it with my mom. I kept peeking back at her and she was smiling ear to ear and it was great. And then she got so happy when the snow came down and the Grinch. I loved it so much and now I think the meetup has started. It's 8 o'clock, we timed that perfectly and we can start getting some food and riding some rides. I'm, I'm so pumped, I'm starving. And since we're still in Seuss Landing, I think we'll head over to Circus McGurkis and get ourselves a roast beef sandwich since uh, that's on the menu tonight. And I'm so excited. They also have the pizza tots here too, which are really, really amazing. I just realized that the food doesn't start till 9 o'clock tonight. So we're a little bit early to Circus McGurkis, but maybe we'll go ride some rides. I think we're gonna go ride the Seuss trolley train. That's a ride my mom can ride. Look at it. I think she'll like that a lot actually. Now unfortunately I can't film on the ride but it is a really fun ride and I'll let you know whether or not my mom likes it or not. I'm pretty sure she is because it's basically the people mover of Universal Studios. But here comes our trusty form of transportation now. <laughs> Look at these Grinchmas people here, both of you. <laughs> you got your magic because of your the your spirit jerseys. Please push Best down on your them. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, mom, you done the Seuss trolley train. What did you think? Did you like that? I loved it. Yeah? It's fun. Now, it we're, now we're gonna do the cat in the hat. Yeah. Five minute wait, so we didn't wait for any of them. There's no yeah. waits at all. Right on. Yeah, right on, fancy. Right Look at, on. right on. <laughs> After we do cat in the hat, I think me and Bon Bon are gonna go ride the Hulk because, I mean, that, well, that's a ride my mom definitely ride. can't ride, but it's something that my sister has never rode. Do you know who the cat in the hat is, Ma? Yeah. Have fun. Look at this, there's not anybody in line. I mean, there's normally not anyone in line for the cat in the hat anyway. <laughs> but it's even special because I'm riding it with you guys. Aww. You know what's funny about this ride? They never show the parents' faces. <laughs> I don't know why they do that, but it's really interesting. Oh, there goes the cat in the hat right there. All right, mom, what'd you think of the cat in the hat? I loved it. See, I think you're loving Universal, aren't you? I like so it. far, you're yeah, you're really loving it. Yeah. <laughs> As we were making our way over to the Hulk, we noticed the Cinnabon is already open for the uh, Orlando Informer meetup. 
Are you ready? We're gonna get some center of the roll. Maybe some hot cocoa too. You want some hot cocoa? Oh, that sounds good. It's so awesome. You just walk up and just ask and they give it to you. You don't pay for it or anything. And it just opened up and they're already at $72. $72. The center of the roll just looks so amazing. And like I said, you can have as many of these as you want. I can eat this right now and just go grab another one. They'll just give it to you. Now, you don't want to do that. My biggest tip for the Orlando Informer meetup is don't, like, eat all the food. Try to share it. Pick at it. And then try quantity and, like, you know, go around and, like, try a bunch of different stuff. Don't eat a bunch and, you know, get sick. Oh, I love the center of the roll. So, look at that. I definitely have to say, I think I like the little Cinna, what do they call Cinna Sweeties? I like the Cinna Sweeties better than the center of the roll. I wasn't expecting it, but they're so light and fluffy and airy. Very good, and they're hot. Not a bad way to start off the night with some cinnamon rolls. And then me and Bonnie ended up riding the Hulk, and she says it's one of her all-time favorite roller coasters. You love it, Bon, right? Is Hulk better than Hagrid's, though? I don't know. Yeah, you don't I know. Think... She wrote she rode Hagrid's, but she didn't ride Velocicoaster, so we're gonna do that tonight too. Yeah. But I do love Hulk. It was so much yeah. fun, and it was no wait. Two different types of roller coasters, in my opinion. Oh yeah, there's tons. There's more than yeah. two. Well, no, they're in, like, between <laughs> Hulk and Hagrid. Oh yeah, they're two different types. Yeah. yeah. Stopped and grabbed some water and take a look at this. Two hundred forty-seven dollars already. Two hundred forty-seven dollars. Thank you. Oh, and another bottle of water, too. <laughs> Isn't it so nice and empty in here now? Look at it. You can just drive around. And we got to keep our eyes peeled to the Grinch. He's actually hanging out here somewhere. He's out and about somewhere. This is definitely one of my go-to stops here. The roast beast. The pizza tots. Everything. Double fisting it. Double fisting it on the chicken Caesar salad. Yep. <laughs> Can I get a slice of pepperoni? Thank you. Oh, and pizza tots, please. Yes. Oh, and a roast beast. Yes. Oh, also some apple pie. I don't know how I'm going to... What's happening? What's happening here? <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> It still just blows my mind when you just walk into like somewhere and you just like I'll have one of everything please and just take 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 and look at this roast beast right here look at this pretzel roll brisket meatloaf onions the works and these pizza tots are so good little sausage little pepperoni look at that now I do have to point out that some of this food is theme park food. Like the pizza, it's still theme park pizza, so it's not gonna be the best pizza in the world, but a lot of it is good food. I mean, we have wings, fish and chips, bread pudding, shepherd's pie, roast beef sandwiches, the Dagwood sandwich. Lots of really cool, like, like non-novelty food that I cannot wait to show you. The Grinch is here! My mom's like so excited. Look at her. She's like, <laughs> The Grinch came in for like two seconds and then they told him he has to leave and he was real upset. But we'll catch him. My goal is my mom to meet the Grinch and just have a conversation. That's all I want in life. I want my mom to talk to the Grinch. <laughs> We're done eating here. We're in hot pursuit of the Grinch. My mom's like, I'm done. She stopped eating the apple pie and everything. I know. <laughs> that was a good apple pie. It looks like the Grinch is uh, maybe taking a break. So we'll come back this way because we're going to use the walkway from uh, Grinch Smith over to Universal Studios. Now I want to head to Hogsmeade and I think it's time for my mom to experience the world of Butterbeer. Oh, there it is, mom. Straight ahead. Hogsmeade. Everybody gets excited to go to Hogsmeade. My mom doesn't even know what Hogsmeade is. <laughs> but I think you'll like it. Maybe it'll maybe your experience today will help you 
uh, go out and watch Harry Potter or read the books. You never know. Maybe. It's pretty magical. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers to Butterbeer, first time. First time. Here we go, hope you get a Butterbeer mustache. <laughs> Good, right? Bonnie's team frozen. That's crazy. But you haven't had hot either, right? See, I'm gonna tell you my ranking. I'm hot butter beer number one, cold butter beer two, and then frozen three. Just not my thing. I like it. <laughs> this guy delivering hot butter beer out here. This is the greatest thing I think I've ever seen right there. <laughs> All right, now the hot butter beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so much better. Isn't that amazing? It's always amazing when they're just handing out hot butter beer like that. Just for everyone that's waiting in line, because usually if you come uh, to three broomsticks, this is going to be one of the longest waits the whole entire night. Look at, I, I don't even know, I look so weird in this. <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you Got ourselves some shepherd's pie. Hand me one of them fish and chips there, would you now? Well, oh, thank you, good sir. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, some pumpkin juice, thank you. Is this pear cider? Yes. Have some pear cider too. Look at this balancing act that my mom's got going on right now. <laughs> got ourselves a little shepherd pie right here. There we go. What's your think, mom? What's your review? The shepherd pie is delicious. Yeah, shepherd's pie? Yeah. This is good. Pumpkin juice? Pumpkin juice is really good. She likes the pumpkin juice. Mm -hmm. Bonnie doesn't like it all. She likes the chips. <laughs> Bonnie's like, I like the chips. <laughs> Seems like everyone liked three broomsticks except for Bonnie. And now it's time to show mom uh, the castle. And then I think me and Bon Bon are going to ride Velocera, uh coaster. And I don't know, we might skip Jurassic Park and Superhero Island and maybe backtrack and make our way back over to Seuss Landing and then over to Universal side. She said, oh my goodness to the snowman. I thought she was looking at the castle. <laughs> so funny. I thought she was like, oh my goodness, I need that for my yard. <laughs> that is so funny. Who do you think's got the better castle, mom? Disney or this castle here? Or Hogwarts? Gorgeous. Then Cinderella Castle? With the snow and they're two different kind of castles. Wow. Yeah, they do a, I'm shocked, there. right? Look at Bonnie. She was too to stunned to speak. <laughs> now we're gonna go from Harry Potter to Jurassic Park. My mom said, is this the way? <laughs> Look at this Velocicoaster, 20 minutes. Bon Bon's first time. Are you excited? Yes. What did you think of Velocicoaster? Uh, I think that might be number one. Yeah? Yes. It was pretty, it was intense. I love Velocicoaster. Yes. Ma, what did you think of Velocicoaster? Well, <laughs> now we're going to make our way back through Seuss Landing and over to Universal. Hopefully we have a Grinch encounter. Keep our eyes peeled. Mr. Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Mr. Grinch. Looks like we missed them. Oh man. Mean green one's nowhere to be found. Can't even believe it. We went back to Mount Pumpkin. 
I'm really loving how there's almost nobody in the parks right now. It's really beautiful just to be able to walk around and be able to show my mom Universal Studios side for the first time when there's no crowds. Look at this. We're about to head to New York, mom. The streets of New York. New York! We love you. Thank you. <laughs> If you've seen any of my other Orlando Informer meetup videos, you know I'm in love with the bread pudding at Finnegan's. So we have to stop and get some and also see what else they have on the menu. I hear they mix it up a little bit this year. Look at this, really though. Holy moly. It's really empty here tonight. Nobody's hanging out by the tree. The performers are just dancing around there. It looks like Mummy is just a walk on. Oh, and that sounds like you got some performers over here. There it is, the love of my life, the Finnegan's bread pudding. Look at this. I'm gonna grab myself a nice little scoops in, a scoop of bread pudding, <laughs> and then extra whiskey sauce. Will you whisker, whiskey sauce me here, Bon? Give me the best whiskey pour you can. Look at that. Much too good. On top of the bread pudding, it looks like they have buffalo mac and cheese, pierogies, and mummy sliders with jackfruit. Here are the jackfruit sliders and then the buffalo mac and cheese. That is looking good. And the pierogies. A lot of stuff. I'm, I'm going to probably pass on some of this, but I'm sure Bon Bon will get some. I get so excited to get this bread pudding every single year. It's not so much the bread pudding, it's the whiskey sauce that does it for me. And I always get extra. How's that mac and cheese, good? Pretty good. What kind of pierogi is it? Uh, just a pierogi. Yeah, but is it potato? Potato, I don't know. Is there different types of pierogies? Yeah. Are there different types of pierogies? They're potato to me. Oh. Calling it quits on Finnegan's, but look, the Blues Brothers are out right now. I feel like we're getting a lot accomplished. We rode one, two, three, four, four, five rides? Yeah. Yeah, five hey, rides. Got to eat at many different places, got to watch the Grinchmas, got to do yeah. the parade. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the, the event still goes on till 1.30 in the morning. So it's got a while yet. Look at this. There she goes. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to see where my mom's actually going to go to. There she is. Hello. <laughs> I've been holding off on actually getting a lot of food because I know that there's a new taco stand that I really want to try and it's over by La Bamba and uh, that's new this year because the taco stand, uh, the taco truck in Simpsons is so popular, they had to add another one because the lines were always so long. So I think we're going to head over there next, then maybe ride Transformers and maybe call it a night. It's getting a little bit cold out for my mom. She's like, uh, with the snow she enjoyed inside the Grinchmas, the snow here in New York, she was like, please no more. Isn't this so pretty, like the, the New York City mom? Look at like the alleyways. Yeah, it's hot. And Walgreens drugs. I'm pretty sure Frankenstein, oh, the bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein are over there. Ooh. So we're gonna head over there, see if we can get a photo together. To go. Mom, I'm putting you on the spot. You yeah. can't be afraid of the bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein. I am not going what? No. They're nice, they're not even monsters. Can we not have a family photo together? <laughs> she won't come? Really? Look it. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? you want a photo? I can take it for oh, you. Please do, yes. Yeah. Two of my favorite people. Hi, how are you? My mom over there doesn't want to come up and say hi because she's afraid. And I don't understand why. She's look at her right there. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh, 
That was the best thing ever, I feel like. <laughs> she's she's is she gone gone? She gone gone? <laughs> she really really is gone. Oh my lord! <laughs> wow. Well, we'll get a picture, bud. <laughs> that was so funny. I cannot even believe my mom flew off like that when Frank Frankenstein started chasing her, and like it was really good. She is like, you don't even so know gone. Where she is. She's like she is so gone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's all the way up there, but I want to get tacos at La Bamba. <laughs> I don't know what to do. La Bamba's right there. That's the new taco spot. Come get some tacos. <laughs> this way. <laughs> We're going to get tacos this way. <laughs> No, 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 have uh, ruined the taco experience for my mom. Well, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited. This is a brand new eat, -a uh, eat spot here for the Orlando Informer meetup. And uh, I'm all about tacos. Look at this. We got pulled uh, chicken tacos. We've got the sweet potato, the beef. And they got a little build a taco section here. Mango lime. Look at that. Lots of good stuff. Salsa, guacamole. All of it. All right, let's get into these tacos a little bit. I'm very excited. I feel like, like, like I said, I think we got a lot done tonight, but the highlight has gotta be Frankenstein's monster and my mom. She's literally shaking in her boots over there. It's so funny. She's like, on the look of she's so paranoid. Mmm. The beef, oh, so good. I had to get all of them to try each one. I mean, they're very small, like, you know, five inch tortillas, but look at this sweet potato one. Here we go. Wow. I can't tell you which one I like more, but I'm gonna go in for the chicken now. They're all so good and I love the peppers in them. Here we go, chicken. Mmm. The sweet potato one is the one that I want. It's the best. Also, look at mom over there. You on high alert? Yeah. He's on the other side of the building. He's not gonna come running through Mel's to get you. Even though Mel sometimes turns into Mel's die in instead of drive in. My mom is super afraid we have to cut through Mel's drive in to avoid Frankenstein's monster. Go, 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 go. He doesn't see you, mom. Right, right, right. <laughs> Look at that. Didn't even see you there. You're good. You're in the clear. You're in the clear. Why is she driving so fast? You're in the clear. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here tonight. It was a fun night. It's definitely a little chilly out, so I think we're going to wrap it up, but so amazing. Like I said, if you guys want to check out the Orlando Informer Meetup, I'll put a link in the description. It is well worth it. All of the food that we ate and we drank and everything tonight was all included in the price. Like, we didn't have to bring cash in with us, so that is absolutely fun. You know what I mean? Just to walk around, just be like, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that and you get to try things that you would normally never try you know what I mean I'm pretty sure none of us would have ever ordered the fish and chips at three broomsticks none of us would have ordered it but we got to try it you know what I mean and uh, yeah now my uh, mom and sister are here so we're gonna have fun doing other things some things around Disney some things outside the parks and Thanksgiving the holidays together it's gonna be amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time Bye. 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 <laughs> Worst part of Universal is the walkout. Yeah. Oh.
<laughs> yep. <laughs> oh boy, someone just ran into that pole. <laughs> Max, speed. Max speed it. Oh, there you go. Max speeding it now. There we go. <laughs>